Yo, this is Hitano Play. It's Pokemon Diamond. So we have batch number three. It's time to go for batch number four. We should be in some episodes, but not as far, of course, as the last one. So there are two ways to go to our next destination, which is gonna be Pastoria City, where we can get batch number four. If you're playing Pokemon uh, Pearl or Diamond, or if you play Platinum, you this will actually be the road to gym number five. So let's check the map. Here we are now, Mailstone. We are entering Route 214. So there's two ways to go to Pastoria City. The route that most people take is to go through this place. Route 214, go through Valor Lake Front, and then you go to Route 213, and then you enter Pastoria City. What I will do is I'll go through Route 214, just to fight trainers and get some stuff here. Then, next episode, we're gonna move to Route 212. It'll probably be done in two episodes from 212 because you can see Route 212 is very long. It is this whole section here is one route for some reason. Now instead of the, like this be 212 and then like this be 213 or something. So yeah, we will be doing this one probably in one go and then the other one in this go and then we'll be going to Pastoria City. Here we'll find gym number four. So. Let's go on to Route 214, which is directly south of Veilstone City. Are you going to take Route 214? You're serious, aren't you? It's too bold it showed up, and there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there's that Ruin Maniac guy you could check out. That guy's been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. Digging, eh? Hmm. Let's see if we can find this uh, Ruin Maniac. Go by a sign here. Let's say Route 214 to Veilstone City. And of course, trainers are in this route. That's why we want to go here. Look out! Behind you! What is it? Is this some trick? Oh, of course, this guy is a psychic. Or she is a psychic. It's Abigail. Why did I do a male voice? I'm sorry, guys. So, okay, so she. Not well, he's a she. Because of Ghastly. Perhaps it's a male, or like a she male, I don't know that. Okay, that, no, I'm just talking about this. So, Ghastly comes out. We have two new attacks. We have one new attack, then we have Fly. Fly has more attack power than Aerial Ace. Problem is that Fly is a two stage move. I think Aerial Ace will be fine against Ghastly. It's because Ghastly has very low defense. And the Flying is one of the few physical attacks that actually can hit Ghastly, because Ghastly is immune to normal and fighting moves. So we hit him with the aerial ace, he goes down in a single hit because defense is low, HP is low. Luxio goes to level 23. Let's learn Roar. And Roar sucks. Roar is like Whirlwind, it basically just switches Pokemon of the, op of the opponents. And in wild battles, you basically will end the battle. Keep running away. For me, that is just a waste of time. Not sure even about hit rate of roar. I don't think we made this a hundred percent. Hundred percent, I maybe like considered it, but nah, we will never use it anyways. Miss Drevis, another ghost Pokemon. This one is actually the first ever pure ghost type Pokemon because the Ghastly family, which was the only ghost Pokemon generation one, was not pure ghost. It was ghost, ghost and poison. Miss Drevis, however, is ghost only, and it goes down. Or Ms. Drevis. Ms. Drevis also gets another form in Generation 4. We'll see that later, perhaps. Then comes Kadabra. I expected a psychic to use Kadabra. Kadabra, of course, just like his uh, family friend Abra, has very low physical defense. Look at that. One hit KO on Kadabra. He has decent speed, but we have we're faster. That's good. And that's physically Abigail. My plan to spook it didn't go our well at all. Well, too bad. I guess I should say that. Now I don't want to level Master Eve anymore, I want to level Luxio. Mainly because Luxio will be the important Pokemon to use in the next gym. Next gym is using water type Pokemon, Monferno will be bad to use. Trevia can be good to use, the problem is Trevia is getting very high level. I'm afraid Trevia might start to I don't know, st stop uh, caring about what I'm going to do, and I don't want my Pokemon to not behave. So I think I'll be giving a bit too XP of 
blue boozel because he's a bit behind. We have some berries you can pick up, let's do that. Cherry berry. Always nice to have. Again, a reminder. If you are playing this game like you actually want to play a lot, even after endgame when you've done everything and you want to maybe collect some Pokemon, you should go and get some berries too. And actually go grow them after you pick them up, so you can uh, go back to them later and get more berries. Remember that you can get Pokemon from Generation 4 onto your 3DS games like X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire with the use of the Pokemon Bank. Being a witch, there's a cave here. Ruin Mania Cave. So here are wild Pokemon, of course. Geodude. We really have a Geodude. We captured one early in the game when we were through all brigades and uh, never mind, so I'm not very really interested. Plus, I won't even do well against the Geodude with Luxio, so I'm just going to bail away. This item, though. Yes! TM28 Dig! Now we have a ground move. Everyone calls me the Ruin Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. You know why? I'm a Ruin Maniac who's fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who can get done faster. Okay. So basically, this guy goes to the contest. So. If you go capture 10 unknowns, you'll see that he guy, this guy has actually dug this cave a lot further in. If you catch all 26 um, types of unknown in the letters, so go A to Z, then you'll be able to catch the two remaining unknowns as your so sort of reward, which is the exclamation mark unknown and the question mark unknown, which is the two final unknown forms, making a total of 28 unknown forms. So. Again, if you want to get all the unknown forms, you want to talk to this guy here, then go capture unknowns, get 10 of them to make your stun longer, get the all 26 of them, then you can capture two remaining unknowns after that. That is basically how you get all the unknowns to be captured. Which is an item here. Let's go get it. It's an X special defense. This will increase X special defense, upping by one stage. Win or lose, who knows how this will go? We're playing for keeps! I guess. So yeah, special defense to increase special defense by one stage. Here, oh, PI. Personal investigator, Carlos. So in, per so in Pokemon world, personal investigators are using fish. Well, that's good for us, because Goldine is a water type, and Lux is electric. That's gonna be poor news for this little Goldine. I'll give it a little spark. Ooh, horn drill. Now, horn drill is a guaranteed one hit KO move, but it has very low hit chance, and it will always miss some Pokemon that are lower level than. I mean, like, if you are lower level than the opponent, then your move will always miss. If not, then you have about 30% chance to hit. Very Goldine. We can take it on. Do the same here again with a spark. Well, won't do much damage. Mainly because, even though with a crit doesn't really do much damage because it's more based upon the health that you have remaining. The less health you have, the more damage Flail does. We give Goldina a little spark, and that's gonna cause it to faint. Good for us, bad for Goldine. And next up, gonna be another Goldeen. So this guy, who's a personal investigator, has three Goldeens. Well, I won't complain, because Luxio is getting fat XP from this. And he needs all the XP he can get for the next gym, in which he will be our key to success. And Monferno, of course, can't even be chosen at all, because, well, he's a fire type. Trevia I want to use too, but I have to be a bit, level, bit careful to not level it too much, or Trevia might actually start disobeying. Here we go, we take down Goldeen. More XP for me. And Luxus level 24. Get some XP on Boozel. And that's Pia Kale, Carlos. I guess I far wrong far too often. 
I guess wrong far too often. I'm, my English is a bit up and down today. We have some more trainers we can fight. Let's see, should we challenge her perhaps? Let's do that. Oh, you want to teach me something about Pokemon? Yeah, why not? Oh, it's a beauty. Devon. She has a Wormadon. Wormadon. A Wormadon is a very... Uh, very weird Pokemon. It's certainly one of the new Pokemon in Generation 4. It's a evolved version of Burmy. Now, basically, uh, Wormadon is always female, as you can see. This is the reason because uh, Burmy can evolve either to a Wormadon or it will evolve into a Muffim. Muffim is the male form, and, and Wormadon is the female form. Mothim is always male and Wormadon is always female. In addition, Wormadon has uh, different types of, uh, like a secondary type. This Wormadon is green, that means it has uh, bug and grass type. If it's like, uh, like yellow brown, it's bug and ground. If you see one that is like pink or purple, that means it's gonna be bug and steel. Two of these types will make it super weak to uh, to fire types, and the other one will make it a bit weak to water. This one is a bug and grass type, so it's going to be super weak to fire. I can give it a little spark, but that shouldn't do too much damage to it. And it's just going to use protect instead, and that's going to make it immune to any attack coming to it. So that's a bit unfortunate. Let's see, let's see what we can do with spark. Yeah, it doesn't do too much damage. This is because electric attacks doesn't do that much damage against Pokemon of the grass type. So that means we are a bit forced to change. Because Confusion does decent damage, we have to change to Monferno. This can be a bit dangerous because Mormodon does so knows Confusion. This means that my Monferno might be taking a bit of damage. Instead it tries to protect itself, but of course it fails because it attacked second. Where Protect almost always goes first, but if you Twitch a Pokemon is going to be getting its priority. We're going to use Protect again, that means the next attack will be failing regardless. There goes Wormadon's Protect on Flame Wheel. We can just do it again, and here comes the Flame Wheel. This should be a guaranteed KO, because Wormadon is four times weak to fire with this current form. That wasn't giving me much of trouble. Wormadon goes down. XP for Luxio and Monferno. And to Boozle, of course, goes to level 21. Goes to an Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet, it's a kind of inter interesting move. As you can see, Aqua Jet is like a physical move, doesn't really do too much damage. But Aqua Jet works the same as Quick Attack. Basically, it always strikes first. Unless, of course, you're being outsped by someone else using another type of move. So that is how you do it with uh, Aqua Jet. Now we see Aqua Jet and Water Gun has the same power, but Aqua Jet is physical while Water Gun is special. So I'm just going to get rid of Water Sport because I will probably never use it anyways. We learn Aqua Jet. Wow, is that right? What's right? There's so many kinds of Pokemon. I can't decide which one to pamper. Well, don't ask me. Let's see, some items we can get here. I want to get that item over there. Let's see, how do we get it? We have to go all the way around here. And we have Wild Pokemon too. Oh, it's a Stucky. Ah, not interested in fighting Wild Pokemon. Usually they're a bit weak, but not often all that weak, but more that Wild Pokemon give much less XP than trained Pokemon. I don't want not to do it. So instead I'm just gonna walk up here. Grab this item before we have wild battle of course. I guess a Geodude. So we're the mountains, it's common that Geodude appear in uh, these kind of areas. It fights himself around these areas, despite that Geodude itself is kinda lame. We get a big root. 
that we can keep for later. Look at the sign. Route 14 to Lake Valor. So if you go down here, you reach Lake Valor. So let's see what this guy has to say. For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. Okay, that's interesting. It's a collector named Douglas with three Pokemon. First one will be Roselia. Roselia, of course, is a dual type poison and grass, which means it'll be weak to psychic attacks, it'll be weak to fire attacks. Of course, as well, if you have flying attacks, it'll do well, but my electric attacks won't really touch it, so I'm going to switch to Monferno. I can give it some little flame wheels that should take off this little Pokemon and make me less annoyed. Magical Leaf. Which is a special type of grass Pokemon attack. Doesn't really do much damage because I'm a fire type. I go with Flame Wheel, charge up, and rush into. That's super effective against Roselia. And it's a one hit KO. Down goes little Roselia. XP for us, for Monferno, and of course the Boozel. One more Roselia. Let me guess, she, he has three Roselias. That's kind of lame. But it's free XP for me because of Monferno's Flame Wheel. We're just going to repeat and repeat until we go on after this battle. See, the Flame Wheel does the job, and down goes Roselia. No surprise there. Alright, so, what will be next? It's Roselia. So, for some reason, Pokémon in this place, or people in this place, rather, have Pokémon of the same kind, and they have multiple of them. So, like, they have multiple Roselias, they have multiple of other Pokémon, and they don't seem to care. It's a bit weird. Well, I even quit the last one. Down goes Roselia number three. Inferno is level 28. That's nice. Wizard gets some XP as well. And that's Collector Douglas. You should boast more about the last that took. I guess. I'm proud of having a Pokemon that other doesn't have. Oh, and I was proud of winning the second prize in Jubilife TV's daily drawings. Yeah, I guess. So if we enter right here now, we'll be entering Lake Valor, Valor Lakefront. But I'm actually not going to go further here, because instead I'll be coming from the other direction to here when we're going to go here instead later. So now I'm going to be flying back to Hearthome City. Here we go. We're gonna go and go into the Pokemon Center and heal up. And that's gonna basically be it for this episode. We explored Route 214, but I decided to take a little uh, deroute to Pastoria City by going to Route 212 instead of going the other direction. But don't worry though, we will be going through the other direction on our other way when we're done in Pastoria before we head for gym number 5, which is actually rather close from here. Maybe I gave you a hint where it is? So, if you have any feedback on Let's Play or discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified and upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.